What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm gonna show you four ways to find studs in a wall. Now the first way is going to be the cheapest and then I'm gonna work myself up to the most expensive tool. So the cheapest way to find a stud in a wall is by knocking. You'll hear a hollow sound and then you'll hear a solid sound and that's when you know that is a stud located right there. So right here, you hear that sound and then you mark it X. And then you do it the other side. To confirm, if you don't have a really great ear for sounds, then the next one for sure will be a lot simpler and it's very inexpensive. The next step is to find a Neo magnet. Well, I got this magnetic stud finder. It's under $10. I'll leave a link in the video description below where to get all these devices. But this is under $10 and it's a magnetic stud finder. Basically, it has neo magnets or super magnets that are inside this stud finder you can use a regular neo magnet you can find it at walmart or uh, amazon this one i like because it has a built-in level this is really easy to use very inexpensive you just run it across the wall like this um, i would go scan the wall every 24 inches because sometimes studs are 16 inches traditionally in the united states they could be up to 24 inches so you want to wave it back and forth like two feet and then go down and keep on going down and then you'll feel it attract to the drywall screw that's in the stud. So how the builders put up the drywall, they put up the drywall and they use a drywall nail or drywall screw into the studs and that's how you know there's a stud there. So you want to hold it very lightly so you feel that the drywall nail or drywall screw and you feel that uh, magnetic attraction right there. And then from that point on you mark an X and that's where you know there's a, there's a stud right there. The next one is a little bit more expensive but it's probably the most common. This is electronic stud finder. On, on this particular stud finder you want to make sure you have fresh batteries because if your batteries start dying then you get really bad results. So you want to press and hold the button on the stud finder and then you want to scan it go left and right so right here you'll see there's a red light that shines that lets you know that's the edge of the stud so that is the right edge of the stud so you mark that and then you go on this side and you hold it and then you slide it over and there we go, mark that. So you know there's a stud. This is the left side of the stud, this is the right side of the stud. And let's do it again. Just to confirm, there we go. You mark it. And then always, always double check your work. All right. And there's your stud. So it also works for fire blocks. And then you scan on the other side as well. And then you know where the fire block is in the wall. Now, even though the magnetic stud finder in most cases won't find the fire block in the wall because the builders don't put drywall nails or drywall screws into the fire block, the knocking technique can work because you'll hear a solid sound behind the wall. But once again, the knocking technique isn't the most scientific, isn't the most accurate way to find studs. Now the best way to find a stud or anything in the wall is the Wallabot. This thing is awesome and they just lowered the price. You can get it for $60 on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the video description below. But this, this thing surprised me. When I bought it, I thought it was like kind of a novelty thing, but it actually, surprisingly works pretty good. This only works for Android phones, not iPhones. But I believe later on, iPhone may be um, compatible with this. So as of right now, what you get in the kit is the Wallabot. This is the DIY kit. Uh, you'll get this plastic skin that protects your walls. And it, you just slap it on to the flat surface of the Wallabot. And then you'll get the tacky sticker right here and you put that right there that's going to stick onto your phone 
It's reusable, but I have wax paper right here to protect it from any dust and debris. It's, it's a sticky mat, basically. And on the bottom, we have the micro USB port. So your phone's gonna power this device, so make sure your phone's fully charged. Now it comes with two adapters. This is a micro USB to micro USB adapter. If your phone is micro USB, then you would use this adapter. Since I have a Samsung S9 phone, which is type C, I'm gonna use the type C to micro USB. So it only has those two adapters. And then you plug it into the Wallabot. Take off the wrapper. You wanna download the DIY Wallabot app. All right, now we're gonna plug it in. I'm gonna slap it on just like that. And I'm gonna plug it in. And then you wanna choose default and hit OK. All right, it is connecting and it's now connected. So it works for drywall and concrete. All right, so I'm gonna use drywall. All right, and every time you take the Wallabot off the drywall, you have to calibrate it. We're gonna place the Wallabot right here and press calibrate and select start. And you wanna turn it counterclockwise, just like so. It'll tell you when to stop. All right, calibration is complete. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're, we're gonna try pan mode. And this is gonna map out your wall. It's gonna tell you how many studs are in your wall, how far. So we're gonna start over here. Right. Press and hold. And then slowly scan it over. and then release. Now you can save the scan right here, but it tells you the bright colored bars are detecting objects. You can see these are my studs. The pink ones are my studs. The brown is the flex bit that's in the wall. Now here's a sample image. So you can see the pink is the studs and the light green. And you can see a little bit of brown right there and that's going to be a metal object. Could be a pipe or a flex bit. All right, now we're gonna select images and then we're gonna um, scan the wall once again and this is gonna display an image what it thinks that's behind the wall. All right, so since I took it off, I'm gonna have to recalibrate. So start, so now it's recalibrated. Now we're gonna select images and the app is gonna detect and guess what's, logically guess, what's behind the wall. So I'm gonna slide it over, and right here it says wooden stud. I keep on going, and right here it detected a pipe or a wire. As you can see, this is my flex bit right here. And as I move it, it moves on the screen. So this is real-time monitoring. And if I turn it this way, I detect the fire block. So here's the fire block in the wall. As you can see, this is the cable. All right, so now that we chose images, let's try a different mode. We're gonna try expert mode right here. And we're set at, um, right now it is set at 70% of sensitivity. And we're gonna scan across and as you can see, it detected the stud. But if you turn it this way and scan down, this is the fire block that's in the wall. And we'll scan across again. It detects the wire, you see that? You might have to increase the sensitivity. So right there, it's detecting the wire. And if you turn it this way and scan down, they'll detect the fire block. So if this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. And if you're interested in the magnetic stud finder or the electronic stud finder or the Wallabot, check out the links in the video description below. The links support the channel at no extra cost to you guys. If you know anyone that this video will help, go ahead and click on the share button below and share this video to them, help someone out. If you want more how-to videos like this coming your way, subscribe to Tampa Tech, click on the subscribe link right here or the subscribe button down below. And if you want to check out my other installation tutorials, click on this playlist link right here.
Thanks guys for watching. Bye.